I'm not even sure how to ask this question, but because you're so interested in the AR, VR, and you're also a very heavy learner, so I'm sure you're probably, as much as I am on YouTube, just like, just playlists of just like, save later, watch later, like, you know, what's going on. Who are some of the people that you are watching in the AR, VR space, or maybe even, maybe people who are watching this, who they should also be watching, or maybe some things that they should be watching at Adobe as well, maybe some, some things that uh, you want to point them towards to maybe potentially learn so they could also become a little bit of pioneers themselves or just early learners. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I haven't been watching anyone specific. Um, I do a lot of searches on YouTube and Dribble and Behance to try to find interesting experiences that are currently being made. And obviously I have, yeah. uh, you know, one of the Meta Quest 2, I think, of one of their headsets. And so I'm trying to immerse myself into that world as much as possible. But I don't think there's anyone specific that I have like a go-to for yeah. AR and VR content. I should probably start finding those people, but it's just a lot of random content from YouTube. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with I'm with you on that too, because while I asked the question, I was like, I don't think I have a specific person either. I was like, I know there's this, uh, I'll link it in the description. I know there's this girl that I follow on Instagram and she does some really crazy AR stuff. You probably know her too. I think she has done some... Ugh. Man, I have to figure out. But she does like some very weird, in a good way, AR and AI things. Mm. Um, and uh, yeah, like the last thing I saw from her, she did like a, um, I think there's a lot of these on, on the internet now. But the last thing I remember is she went to a conference and she had like these earrings with like QR codes. And when you scanned that, she had a particular dress on where like if you looked at her with your phone after scanning the QR code, uh, her dress basically, and she matched it perfectly. It was actually, a, um, I think she self-funded the project. It was supposed to be a client project, but they dropped it and it became this thing. So um, if you looked at her dress, her dress would like, oh, basically her chest would mechanically open up and her heart would be like, uh, what's gonna call it? You could, her inner workings or her inner workings, the, you could see like inside of her and she would be like mechanical it was really well done i, I thought it was gonna be like this is not gonna be any good right but she did um it was awesome and I'll, I'll i'll post it in the in the description so you guys can find her but like howard said there's just so many random uh cool things out there where it's just really hard to just just give it to one person there's a lot going on guys just and that's kind of the thing i'm blank. sorry to interrupt brandon but that's kind of the no, thing i'm ahead. excited for about ar is you know once we have glasses or even contact lenses that are not these massive things that you have to wear you know goofy walking around but once you have those yeah. that hardware in place all these experiences are going to be possible you know you're going to be able to walk around and people's clothes are going to start explode not not in a weird way but <laughs> like like the way you were talking about with like we hear I you mean, we hear you Howard. <laughs> um and that there, there's just an unlimited amount of possibilities like on the very basic level i think i mentioned this during our twitter space is yeah i'm terrible with names and you know i'll, I'll be you know these this experience I'll just, you know, on the on the little display in front of my face, it'll just kind of remind me of who that person is that I'm walking up to. Um, but then there's these these crazy things that you'll be able to, I mean, I don't want to think about it, but, you know, advertisements might show up in um, random places as you're walking around. Obviously, you know, I don't want to necessarily see that part of the AR experience, but um, no. I can't even think of everything that... AR is going to unlock. And I think that's really exciting. Your navigation yeah. as you're walking around a street, you don't have to look down at your phone constantly. Uh, who knows what else? I mean, these crazy rave experiences you might go to like in your own bedroom or something, you'd just be able to see all these like, you know, bands in front of you basically. It could, could I don't know. I'm just kind of like rambling because I'm trying to wrap my mind around all the possibilities of AR, but I don't think it's even possible. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, you can find more Build From Scratch website tutorials with me right here, or you can find more Editor X tips and tricks in this playlist over here. With that said, I hope to see you guys in another video. And of course, if you like this episode and what we're doing here on this channel, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.